الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters, you may ask why Imam Bukhari did not start his book with an introduction. There's no introduction in which he would have laid down, specified his criteria, his conditions, stipulations, his methodology. No, there's nothing like that. Why? Because he did not want to bring before the words of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his own words. Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tuqaddimu bayna yaday illahi wa rasulih. All ye who believe, do not come before the messenger of Allah. Do not bring something ahead of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And he acted upon that. Now the first uh, section of Sahih al-Bukhari is beginning of revelation. Kitab al al-Wahi. Yet the first hadith is not related to the subject. It is the hadith of the intention. Famous hadith, innama al-a'malu bin niyat. Why? Because he wanted this hadith to be the introduction to his book, to call the attention of the readers to the importance of purifying one's intention before studying the sacred knowledge, before narrating the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Yet here also there is some deep wisdom. He narrated this hadith actually quite short, not the full version of it, because he wanted to narrate it specifically from his shaykh Abdullah ibn Zubayr al-Humaydi, because al-Humaydi is from Quraysh. And Quraysh is the tribe of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And there is a hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give honor always or bring forward, qaddimu Quraishan. Always give priority to Quraysh over others. So he acted upon that again. Now, the last section of Sahih al-Bukhari is Kitab al-Tawheed, unity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last hadith of it, uh, he narrated it from his Shaykh Ahmad ibn Ishkab, who is from Kufa originally, but moved to Egypt. And Imam al-Bukhari met him in Egypt. And Ahmad ibn Ishkab died year 217. And the last hadith is the famous hadith of Tasbih, Subhanallah wa bihamdih, Subhanallah al-Azim. Kalimatani habibatani ila al-Rahman, khafifatani ala al-Lisan, thaqilatani fil mizan Subhanallah wa bihamdih, Subhanallah al-Azim, from Abu Huraira, radiyallahu ta'ala an. Now, the wisdom in making this hadith the last hadith, and usually scholars and poets would give a lot of attention to the first line and the last line, because tasbih erases all the sins done throughout the session or throughout the work. And tasbih also here is a glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He wanted us to know that all the glories Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has, all of what has been mentioned of his virtues, of his miracles, of his beautiful traits, of his beauty, etc. Everything is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us go back and glorify Allah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.